Okay, uh, hi guys, my name is Jamie45 and I have a team deathmatch on Overgrown for you. Um, this is my first commentary for TJM and JMR. Uh, I need to stop staying, uh, don't I? Well, I had a free for all game on Modern Warfare 2 up there, it was an Afghan match with Barf T Cow, I think, the thermal. Um, feel free to check that out after you've watched this video. It's quite good. It's against some boosters, and I absolutely rate them. Um, yeah, so I was approached by TJM and JMR, and they said, "Can you put up some, or can you send us some videos, and we'll put them up on our channel?" So I need to sell myself at the moment, be a bit of a whore when it comes to YouTube to get myself known. So I thought, yeah, fine, I'll do that. So that's what I'm doing at the moment, pretty much selling myself. Um, anyway, yeah, my name's James, I live in South England, um, in Southampton, and I've completely lost thought of what I'm going to say, okay, I'm 16, I got into gaming when I was given a Game Boy for my 7th birthday or whatever, uh, I started getting competitive on Call of Duty 4 and I don't know how long ago it was, it was quite a while, three years. Is it three years? It's got to be three years or two and a bit. Anyway, yeah, I had a PlayStation 3 and I got bored of that after the world, but got to Temple Prestige at World of War ridiculously quickly, racing my friends. It's never a good idea. And I, well, so I bought an Xbox and I now play Xbox. Uh, doing the same thing again. I once again raced to 10th Prestige, got ridiculously bored. But this time I bought a PVR, uh, which is the recording device if you don't know that. So I now make YouTube videos to keep myself entertained and hopefully keep you entertained. Uh, this is a team deathmatch on Overgrown on Call of Duty 4 because I started going back to that now since I've started to get quite bored so I thought oh, I'll go back to this because I'm not tempted for prestige or I haven't played this as much as I did or because I haven't there yeah, because I've been playing World at War and Modern Warfare 2 that's what I was trying to say finally get it out um, so basically I <coughs> excuse me so yeah this is a game where I go I don't know what I get I get a ridiculously good score miles more than their team does put together um, this video was going to be a oh look at that accuracy terrible uh, this video was going to be a um, it was going to go off my channel it was going to start a new series called one man army where I get more kills than like the entire enemy team put together which I do quite well here but I got an email from TJM and JMR saying that they like my first video that I put up and they want to see some more and hopefully I could submit one or two oh, sorry two or three videos a month and I, th I got that email quite recently and I just got an email saying they subscribe to me about time hey that's alright I don't care uh, that gives me some coverage. Um, so yeah, there's my. There's me dead after a 24 kill streak, and their team only has three kills. That's pretty good. But yeah, so I thought I've got this game. I was going to put it up on my channel. I might as well put it up in here. Um, if they, if they like me enough to let me start doing a series or whatever, maybe I could turn this into episode one and continue as I go. But yeah, uh I'm Oh my god, I don't know what to say. Oh, I might as well go through my class setup and that. I'm using an AK forty seven without any attachments because without any attachments it's actually more powerful than with red dot which for some reason decreases the damage as the silencer for obvious reasons. Um it's like having an FMJ on it really or something, I don't know. 
but yeah, I'm using an AK-47 with no attachments, a uh, pistol with no attachments, which one I'm not sure, the one before the Desert Eagle, uh, M19 or whatever, also no attachments, because I find that um, with the silencer it weakens the pistols massively. Um, I'm using all my perks, are Bandolier, Stomp Pan, Deep Impacts, uh, what can I talk about? Got an email from someone saying with a video attached there was a commentary about spawn grenade spawn new tubes and he was saying how he hates them and stuff and I reassured him that um reassure you as well that spawn grenade launchers on World at War were patched well, there was an update set stopping them from exploding from like 10 to 15 seconds into the game. They just bounce. It's pretty funny if you'd stood there and watched them go over the map and they come down on top of like six of you and then nothing happens. It's like safe fireworks, really. Anyway, yeah, I hope that's what they do, what, that's what Treyarch do again. But I don't know how many more videos I'm going to put up until Black Ops. I'll, I'll be play, playing Fable 3 quite a lot, maybe I'll put a couple of them couple of favorite free videos up. But anyway, that's the end of the game. My final score is 43 to 4. I, if I had, I had four times less deaths in their entire range. Mm -hmm. Well, they had four times more kills than I had deaths, and if I had three, five more kills, I'd have had three times that kills as well. Anyway, thanks, and bye.